Hi guys, um, Terry here. Um, I'm going to be going through the solution to question 4 of the July 2021 CSEC ADMATS paper. Right? So if you haven't done so as yet, please hit like and subscribe. Um, let's look at question 4. So in question 4 here, we want to perform a differentiation. So you want to differentiate sine x plus cosine 4x all right that's what we want to differentiate so to differentiate this we're going to differentiate each part separately so we're going to differentiate sine x first we're going to get cosine x all right put back your plus sign and then you're going to differentiate cosine 4x all right now what i'm going to use here i'm going to use this when i differentiate cosine ax right what I do get is minus a sine ax right that's what I get so in this case here it's gonna be negative 4 sine 4x right so this answer here is gonna be cosine x minus 4 sine x sine 4x sorry right so that is part one this next one here we want to differentiate this um, so in this case here we're going to use since you have a fraction we're going to use the quotient rule so when you differentiate something that looks like u over v it's going to be v du dx minus u dv dx all over v squared so this is our rule that we need to know, right? That's our quotient rule. Um, in this case here, we have um, u is equal to 2x cubed plus 2. So therefore, du over dx is equal to 6x squared, right? At the same time, we can say v is equal to 2x plus 1. So dv over dx is going to be equal to 2. So now, I want to differentiate this whole thing here. So d and dx, open brackets, 2x cubed plus 2 over 2x plus 1, right? And we're going to apply the rule. So we're going to say v du dx. So this is what v is, right? And this is what du dx is. So it's going to be 2x plus 1 multiplied by du dx, right? Which is going to be 6x squared. So this is 6x squared squared we have a negative sign here we're going to say u in which case u is 2x cubed plus 2 multiplied by dv dx which in this case here is 2 all over 2x plus 1 squared all right so we need to do a little simplification here um, so you can write this as 6x squared open brackets 2x plus 1 right minus 2 2x cubed plus 2 all over 2x plus 1 squared if we simplify the top we're going to get 6 to the 12x cubed plus 6x squared minus 4x cubed plus not plus negative 4 all over 2x plus 1 squared right I think we can still do some simplification on top this is going to be 8x cubed plus 6x squared minus 4 all over 2x plus 1 squared right so that takes care of part two. The next one here now, use the principles of differentiation to compute the stationary value of the function. So this is a very simple question, right? Um, you can do this in maths actually, right? Um, so first things first, we have y is equal to x squared minus 4x plus 2. So dy over dx, we differentiate in first. You're going to get 2x minus 4. Now, if we want to find um, a stationary value, 
right? So at a stationary point, what's supposed to happen is dy over dx is equal to zero. So therefore, we're gonna put 2x minus four is equal to zero, 2x is equal to four, and therefore x is four over two. So therefore x is equal to two. Now, your stationary value occurs at where x is equal to two, but this is not your stationary value. Eh? So um, stationary value, right? So we're gonna say when x is equal to two, right? y is going to be equal to 2 squared minus 4 by 2 plus 2. So this is going to be 4 minus 8 plus 2. 4 minus 8 is minus 4, minus 4 plus 2 is minus 2. So they said um, well, they want the stationary value, right? So in this case here, we're just going to tell them that the stationary value of y is minus 2, right? So stationary value of y y is equal to minus 2. That's my answer here. What else do we have here now? Alright, so a motorist starts from a point x and travels 60 meters due north to a point y at a constant speed of 4 meters per second. He stays at y for 25 seconds and then travels at a constant speed of 10 meters per second um, for 100 meters due south to the point z. So let's see. So let's draw a little diagram to show what's happening. So we're starting at the point X. He travels 60 meters due north. So he's going this way, right? To a point Y. So he reaches Y and he's traveled a distance of 60 meters, right? Then he stays there for 25 seconds, right? And then he travels at a constant speed for 100 meters due south to the point Z. So he changes direction now and he does this. right and he's traveling at 100 a distance of 100 meters right so initially he went this way and now he's coming back and let's see so this is the point z right now they want to know what is the average speed for the whole journey now we know the total distance travel eh? the total distance travel Right, because the question says average speed. So with total distance travel here, he travels 60 plus 100. So that's 160 meters. So what we don't know, we don't know the time. That's what we don't know, right? So we need to work out the time taken to um, cover this entire journey, right? So let's see. Um, from X to Y, he's traveling at, so we're gonna use, now we're traveling at constant speed here they're talking about, right? So speed is distance over time. So therefore, time is distance over speed, right? So from X to Y, he traveled a distance of 60 meters, right? And his speed for that interval there was four, right? So that's gonna give me um, 60 divided by four, that's what, 15? Yeah, so that's 15 seconds, right? So that's how long he took to travel from X to Y. That's 15 seconds, right? Um, we also know that he stayed there for 25 seconds. So that's an additional 25 we need to account for. But when he's coming back now, he travels, right? All right, so what's happening so far? Let's do a little sketch. So if this is distance, right? He would have traveled a distance of 60 meters right and the time taken to do this here so this is zero time taken to do this here would have been 15 that we just calculated there right now he stayed there for 25 seconds so that means that he's doing this for a total of 25 seconds so that's um, two, three, that's 40 right so at 40 seconds he is at that point there he's still um, he's still there at the point Y right but then he travels in the opposite direction now and he's traveling a hundred meters so therefore that means that he's doing this right so what we need to do we need to figure out what is those times here right um so we don't know this time here 
right? Let's see how we're gonna work that out. You know the speed in this section here is 10 meters per second. Right? So what I'm gonna do, I wanna find what time is that there. So T, again, is distance over time, distance over speed, sorry. So the distance travel from this point here to uh, this point here is 60 meters. That's 60 meters here, right? So it's gonna be 60 over the speed, which was 10. So that's a total of six seconds. So therefore, at this stage here, we are at 46, right? I hope that making a little sense, right? That's 46 there. And then we have this little piece here. So he's still traveling at, um, at 10 meters per second. So that time there is same distance over um, speed. Now the distance in this section here is actually 40 meters. So it's gonna be 40 over 10, and that's gonna give you four, right? So that, what that's given me there now, that's given me a total of four seconds. So we're gonna take this 46 and we're gonna add four seconds to that. And therefore this time here is 50 seconds. So your total time, so question one's average speed, right? So average speed. Is equal to total distance. Over total time. which is the total distance is 160 divided by the total time, which in this case is 50 seconds. So my average speed here is gonna be 16 divided by five. So that's around 3.2. So the average speed here is gonna be 3.2 meters per second. Right, that's the average speed. In second part, they want the average velocity now, right? Average velocity, right? So your average velocity is equal to your displacement over time. Now displacement, remember, it's a vector quantity, right? So we need to look at this from a vector standpoint. So in this case here, if we go back to um, the journey of this, um, what it was? A motorist, right? So he travels 60 meters in one direction. So that's 60 meters, right? And then he came back, right? And he ended up at this point here, 100 meters, right? So his actual displacement from his starting point is negative 40, right? It's negative 40. And the reason why I'm saying negative 40 is because it's reverse direction, right? I'm taking upward as positive, downward as negative. So his actual displacement from his starting point is negative 40. And the total time again is going to be that 50 that we got there. So this is gonna be minus 0 0.8 meters per second, right? So this is how we work a problem like this. Um, so again, guys, please hit like and subscribe. And for maths, add maths, chemistry, and physics classes, you can send me a WhatsApp at this number, right? Take care, guys.